Hello students, welcome again to a new session at Educators Plus. I am Akarshi, your English faculty at Educators Plus. So students, please uh, note that today we are going to discuss some previous year's question of the European literature. So if you have watched my 11 a.m. session, then you must be knowing that we have discussed a lot of light writers who are important from the European literature point of view and their works and the special point or the backdrop and setting we have also been discussed about the, uh, those works okay so i hope you have enjoyed those that lecture and have you know learned a lot of things from that particular lecture and now it's time to apply all your learning in this particular lecture because we'll be discussing some previous years question that have been asked in your net exam okay so i will be telling you the answers to those questions and will be explaining you the uh, concept behind that particular answer okay so students please tell me in the chat box am i is visible and audible to you properly please let me know am i visible and audible to you properly okay so we'll be, uh, begin the session by discussing about the question that i have given you as the homework in my previous lecture okay if you remember that we have discussed about the post colonial writer and we have uh, in the two of classes and we have also discussed about the previous year's question in the mock test series again they are equals to two classes okay and in my last class i have asked you a homework question about chinamanda adichi so let's look at the question first okay so this was the question that um, i have asked you as a uh, homework that chinamanda adichie's last novel americana okay it's a very important work americana of uh, uh, chinamanda adichie okay and it centers on the romantic and existential uh, struggles of a young nigerian woman okay studying in the united states and finding success as a blogger what is a blogging about okay so um, i hope you have understood the question so basically it is asking her blogging is about which of the following topic poverty development race or religion so if you know about chinmanda adichie you must be knowing that he was a prose colonial writer and uh, in the, in but in the, uh, in the work of chinmanda gc we can see that race has been an important theme okay so please remember uh, the novel americana deals with the theme of americanization okay and the main character is named with ifi melu okay ifi melu was a character who becomes disappointed uh, realizing the fact that american dream is a lie okay and you have to suffer a lot to build your identity so it is not that easy as american dream portray in uh, in its particular definition so one has to really work hard and really strive to gain that um, you know to gain that popularity or you can say success and american dream is a lie okay so it is a novel of disappointment please remember this particular thing and this particular americana talks about race is it clear okay let's move ahead now these are some of the works and these are the characters okay so you have to match the work with the character telemachus anya zekerkov and rastinai okay so you have to tell me which character falls under which work okay is it uh, these are the options so please look at the options carefully and answer in the chat box what is the correct answer is it a b c or d Yes, quickly in the chat box, please let me know. Which of the following option is correct? Is it A, B, C, or D? Quickly look at the works and the. character associated with that so if you know that we have discussed some of the works and uh, you must be knowing the answer to it okay so the correct answer is 4312 that is telly matches is odc so odc is a work by homer okay then anya is uh, cherry orchard that is a work by anton chekhov 
okay russian writer anton chekhov please remember the writer with their works very important thing to remember from the european literature okay so isme zara aapko deep pe questions nahi puche jate only the characters uh, main characters the work name the author's name so please yahi cheez aap isko leke chalo and please remember all of these things okay then zekerkov is a character in notes from underground which is a work by dostoevsky Okay, Fyodor Dostoevsky is the writer of the work Notes from Underground, and Rastignac is a work uh, by Old Goriet, which is a novel by Honor de Balzac. Okay, which is a French writer. Please remember the writers with their works. Okay, so Notes from Underground is written by Dostoevsky. Old Goriet is written by Honor de Balzac. The Cherry Orchard by Chekhov, and the Odyssey by Homer. Okay, I hope you will remember the names. Let's move ahead. Okay, so this renowned German poet was born in Prague and died of leukemia. When young, uh, he met Tolstoy and was influenced by him. The title of his two works contain the words sonnets and elegies. He is which of the following writer? So please let me know in the chat box. Please re uh, answer the chat box, which is the correct answer. Is it A, B, C, or D? Quickly, let me know in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is Raina Ma Mary Rilke, very important writer. And please remember the word sonnet is contained in the work sonnet to Orpheus. Okay, this is a work by uh, Raina, uh, Raina Mary Rilke. So the word sonnet is contained in his work sonnets to Orpheus and elegies is there in Duino elegies. Okay, it is again a very important work of Raina Mary Rilke, and that's why the word elegies is there. So, okay, so his last two works say the title of his last two works contain the word sonnets. The sonnets is there in his work Sonnets to Orpheus. Please remember the name, make a note of it. And the word elegies is there in Do You Know Elegies? Again, the two these are very important works of Raina Mary Rilke. This is a question. Aate hai. Mark my words and please remember the writers. Okay, with their works. Is it clear? Let's move ahead. Raskolnikov murders the old lady. Okay, so Q Raskolnikov, uh, I will told you that he was a uh, character from Crime and Punishment and he murders the lady. Okay, so he murders a prawn broker, then a girl and then there was a, you know, spiritual journey which he undertook with the help of the character Sony and again his trial in Serbia. So he actually murdered the lady for what two reasons? If you have read Crime and Punishment, then you must be knowing the correct answer to it. What is the correct answer? Please let me know in the chat box. So first option is that to get her money and achieve his ambitions in life. To achieve his political goal as an extremist and a nihilist, to prove his uh, superiority over other young men of the time, or all the above. So, what is the correct combination? You have to tell me in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is first and third. Okay, to get her money and achieve his ambition and third. Uh, to prove his superiority over other men. So what happened this uh, character, uh, Raskolnikov, basically he murders an old woman, okay? And old, this, uh, the woman whom he murders was a very rich woman, okay? So she had a lot of money. And uh, Raskolnikov, Raskolnikov murders that woman. And later on, he gives the excuse that uh, 
uh, she had lot of money and she doesn't use her money okay so that's why her, i killed her to get her money and in the end she he has concluded that uh, one who uh, does not uses some money should give their money to others for the use okay so this excuse he gives for murdering this woman so that's why the first thing to get her money and achieve his ambition in life because that woman was not using the money okay and later on uh, he was actually he has committed the murder and they, uh, later on he went under a uh, spiritual regeneration with the help of the character sonia okay who was a hooker in this novel but she had a heart of gold okay and later on uh, he was actually sentenced in siberia okay kahan pe baad mein sentenced hota hai he was sentenced in siberia so it deals with the, the life story of the character that is rascol nikop also please remember here um dostoevsky has used stream of conscience consciousness technique to actually tell the mindset of the character rascol nikop so please remember it is a study of psyche a uh, stream of consciousness has been used as a technique in this particular work okay let's move ahead now the emergence of the concepts of world literature associated with okay which two writer has emma has is responsible or are responsible for uh, making the world literature concept important okay please let me know in the chat box is it uh friedrich schiller uh, then goethe then herder or immanuel kant okay please let me know in the chat box all these are german writers Okay, so the correct answer is B and C. Goethe and Herder are responsible for making the concept uh, for the emergence of the concept of world literature as it is mug it up. Okay, as it is mug it up. Okay, Goethe or Herder are responsible for making the world literature concept famous worldwide. Okay, so let's move to here. Gunter Grass syndrome is part of a trilogy known as a Danzig trilogy. I have read Gunter Grass. He is a German writer. Okay. मैंने जर्मन राइटर बताया था इसको और मैंने इसकी ट्रायलॉजी पढ़ाई थी आपको विच आर द टू थ्री वर्क्स ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रायलॉजी एंड दैट ट्रायलॉजी इज नोन द डांजिक ट्रायलॉजी नॉट टेंड्रम इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रायलॉजी व्हिच आर द अदर टू ओके इफ यू हैव अटेंडेड माय क्लास अटेंटिवली देन यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द आंसर टू इट ओके द फ्लाउंडर एंड डॉग इयर्स द रैट एंड माउस द रैट एंड कैट एंड माउस cat and mouse and dog ears or crab walk and the rat okay please let me know in the chat box is it a b c or d what is the correct answer to this question you must be knowing it because it's easy and i have told you in my lecture Okay, so the correct answer to this question is cat and mouse and dog ears. Okay, so please remember that Gunter and Grass is a German author, popular for his trilogy that is Danzig trilogy. And which are the three parts of Danzig trilogy? Yes, Pinky. Good afternoon. The three parts are uh, Tin Drum, Cat and Mouse, and Dog Ears. So these are the three parts of. Uh, the Danzig trilogy and Dog Years has been considered as a sequel to Tin Drum. Okay, Dog Years kya hai? Sequel to Tin Drum hai. Fine. Please remember the Dog is equal to turn, uh, do, uh, the Tin Drum, and please remember that Tin Drum is actually revolves around the uh, character that is Oscar Mathiesen. Okay, Oscar was the name of the character Oscar Mathiesart, and under uh, whose life this novel revolves. Okay, he was a character, and what was famous about this character that he has a piercing shriek. Okay, he has a piercing shriek which can actually uh, shatter glass. Okay, and this was a weapon for Oscar. Met Frida, and what was he said? What he claimed for himself? He claimed that I am a infant who was spiritually developed, completely spiritually developed at the birth, but only needs to affirm 
itself okay so please remember the character oscar methrizat is there and all the three parts of uh, danzig trilogy deals with the rise of what rise of nazism okay rise of nazism so ye deal karti hai and also there is a backdrop uh, of uh, world war 2 in the novel tin drum प्लीज रिमेंबर ऑल दिस पॉइंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि डांसिंग ट्रायलॉजी पूछी जाती है आपसे एग्जाम में यू शुड रिमेंबर द थ्री पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रायलॉजी द मेन कैरेक्टर एंड द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ दिस ऑल द थ्री वर्क एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर डॉग दर्स इज अ सीक्वल टू टेन ड्रम फाइन लेट्स मूव अड द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस ऑफ टॉल्सटॉय अन्ना करीना हैप्पी फैमिलीज आर ऑल लाइक वेरी अनहैप्पी फैमिलीज इज अनहैप्पी इन इज ओन वे द स्पेसिफिक कॉज ऑफ द अनहैप्पीनेस इन ऑपलोस्की हाउस वॉज द हजबेंड अफेयर विद किसका अफेयर था किसके साथ प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चैट बॉक्स इज इट ए बी सी ओ डी is it with the kitchen maid the english governess french governess and socialite now your homework is to please make a reading of anna karina very important work of let tolstoy and you should remember this work by heart okay please tell me in the chat box okay so uh, basically it uh, she was a french governess theek okay? hai so oplongsi house the husband affair was with a french governess also remember the left tolstoy the very important writer and anna karina is one of the work which you have to read other work is war and peace okay war and peace is the other work of left tolstoy so both these work make it a note to read it properly and understand the main characters and the setting behind those characters okay uh, let's move ahead now goat's first part one scene one opens in theek okay? hai जो गोथ है दैट इज अ जर्मन राइटर उसने जो वर्क लिखा है यू नो दिस फॉर्स्ट ओके इसका जो पार्ट वन सीन वन वेयर डज इट ओपन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द चाइल्ड बॉक्स डज इट ओपन इन हेवन हेल्थ फॉरेस्ट ऑफ फॉर्स्ट स्टडी okay so the correct answer is fourth study okay so i when i just taught you christopher marlow i told the history of the tragic history of uh, the christopher uh, that uh, uh, dr foster's actually was a uh, uh got influence from the work of goethe that is faust okay and faust is a tragic play in two parts by uh, goethe okay so part 1 part 2 so it in english it is called as faust part 1 and faust part 2 please remember this doc uh, faust by goethe is divided into two parts and uh, first part is faust part 1 and the second part is faust part 2 now this faust uh, play, uh, play takes place in a multiple setting okay so first it opens in faust study and then it also uh, shows the scene of heaven okay and what was the scene basically the demon which was there in dr foster's uh, christopher marlow dr foster's also mephisto phillies makes a bet with god he say that uh, he can uh, lure god's favorite human being that is faust okay who is striving to learn everything that can be known away from the righteous pursuits okay so he want again to be a very knowledgeable man a learned person and he wanted to know everything that exists in this world away from the righteous pursuit because he was already a christian okay and the next scene takes place in for study where for despairing at the vanity of scientific uh, humanitarian and religious learning turn into the magic for showering uh, of in finite knowledge okay and he suspects however that his attempts are a failure still 
frustrated he ponders the suicide but he rejects okay and it was them uh, echo of nearly easter celebration begins fine so he again like dr foster he want to be a uh, learned man and he wanted to uh, achieve all the learnings that are available in this world and please remember in this scene in post study there was a porter transform into mephistopheles and post make an arrangement with him and what arrangement he made that uh, mephistopheles will do everything that was want while he is here on earth and in exchange what does post have to give Post will serve the devil in him. Okay, so post arrangement is that if he pleased enough with anything, Mephistopheles give him that he wants to stay in that moment forever, uh, and then he will die in that moment. So this was a pact which was made between Post and Mephistopheles in exchange for Post uh, for the desires of Post. Okay. So this was all about post by goats. Please remember the open open it uh, the this particular work opens in uh, post study. Next, Maxim Gorky, the great Russian writer of fiction and drama, was in real life a man called. Okay, so the Maxim Gorky tha. He was a Russian writer. In real life, what was his name? Please let me know in the chat box. What was the name uh, of this particular writer, Maxim Gorky, in real life? Okay. So the answer is Alexei Peshkov. Okay, so in real life his name was Alexei Peshkov, and please remember he was also a five-time nominee for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Okay, so he was uh, appointed to be awarded a Nobel Prize uh, in Literature for five times. Okay, and please remember the work that he has written some remarkable works that is the Lower Depth. Okay, the Lower Depth. the mother the song of Dest destiny so these were some of the uh, works which was written by um, markim gorky maxim gorky and please remember the names okay so i'll repeat once again the lower depths and the mother are the two important works of maxim gorky fine next tolstoy war and peace carries a lengthy discussion of determinism and free will in okay the so tolstoy ne jo do work likhe the anna karina and uh, uh war and peace which are important from net point of view so his uh, work war and peace carries a lengthy discussion of determinism and free will in which of the following form okay in prologue it is exchange between pierre and natasha and exchange between nikolai rostov and princess Bel belzukoi or its epilogue please tell me in the chat box and please like the session to mark your attendance okay so the correct answer is epilogue okay so in epilogue he makes a lengthy discussion of determinism and free will please remember this point okay next is which of the one of the brecht's work was intended to lampoon the conventional sentimental musical but the public lapped up the work sentiment and missed the humor okay which of the following work of brecht bertolt brecht kis kaun se work ne uh, the conventional sentiment musical but public laughed up with the work sentiment and missed the humor please answer in the chat box is it a b c or d which is the right answer Okay, so the correct answer is three penny opera. Please remember that Bertolt Brecht is known for the uh, he is known as the father of animation. ठीक है Bertolt Brecht को father of animation भी बोला जाता है, ठीक है? And please remember he is very much known for the as a propounder 
फॉर एपिक थिएटर ठीक है फॉर एपिक थिएटर ही इज नोन एज द प्रोमाउंडर फाइन एंड दिस एपिक थिएटर कंसेप्ट वॉज गिवेन बाई अरविंद पिस्कार्टर प्लीज रिमेंबर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड दिस एपिक थिएटर ऑल्सो डील्स विद द एलिनेशन इफेक्ट and what is this alienation effect so when uh, people go to watch a play okay either they become very emotional or very sad or very happy okay and they judge the play based upon their uh, emotions and the play has some biasness component theek hai so one uh, the alienation effect is that you should totally alienate alienate yourself from emotions whatever you are watching on the stage you should believe that it's just a play and you should judge the play by your senses not by your sorry by your rational or mind or intellectuality and not by your emotions okay so you should remove that biasness component from your judging a play and you should just watch a play for the sake of watching the play and you should not mix it your with your personal experiences and personal prejudices okay so this was the concept of alienation effect which has been given by bertolt brecht and he is the propounder of the epic theater and he is also known as the father of animation okay so these are the important point for bertolt brecht next one of lovers main motivation in writing the novel madam bovary was his antipathy for bourgeois okay flower strongly believe that bourgeois are those who think feel and act in terms of util utilitarianism and who reject the humanity and uniqueness of the individual person okay you have to tell me which of the following uh, assertion and reasoning goes with these statements Yes, in the chat box, please let me know. Okay, so the correct answer is uh, both A and R are true, and R is the correct explanation of A. So in the Charles uh, Charles Bovary has been shown as a person who is not very ambitious, who is dull in character, and who is from the middle class. Okay, so the meaning of bourgeois is middle class. okay so the meaning of bourgeois is middle class so that's why in writing the novel was his antipathy for the bourgeois so that's why the uh, emma succumbs to the mental state because he was she was not be able to set to the middle class society or the uh, you know middle class environment which charles bovary was offering her her after marriage okay so that's why both a and r are the true and r is the correct explanation of A. Okay, because why he actually shows the antipathy towards middle class because he believed that bourgeois are those who think, feel, and act in terms of utilitarianism and who rejects the humanity and uniqueness of the individual person. Okay, so that's why they have a very common or a mainstream living. Okay, so they don't think out of the box. That was bourgeois used to. Oh, sorry, uh, Mad um, Gustave Flaubert used to believe about middle class, and that's why it was an antipathy novel. towards middle class and what was the name of the novel madam bovary next which of the following features are present in dostoevsky crime and punishment okay so crime and punishment i have discussed several time very important work so which of the following features are present in that particular work in the chat box is it nihilism utilitarianism rationalism or christian symbolism Please let me know in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is one and four are correct. Nihilism and Christian. symbolism okay so what do you mean by nihilism the theory of nihilistic that is life is meaningless okay nihilist nihilist used to believe that life is meaningless and they rejects all the moral practices and moral principles from their life 
and they live a life that life has no meaning your actions have no meaning your words have no meaning that in short your life is totally meaningless and this theory of nihilism has been followed by the absurd theater of absurd writers okay that we'll be discussing in the next theory class so you will be looking how they have some fragmented narratives short pauses okay long pauses uh, short words sh uh, small words and short narratives are there because they don't find meaning in anything okay so that was a, a theory which were featured in a crime and punishment as well and which have Ras rastikonov and uh, this uh, character also didn't have any meaning okay so he was uh, you know murdering people then he was spiritual journey and then he was sentenced so his life was totally meaningless so nihilism and christian symbolism has been followed in uh, crime and punishment next which of the following statement is not true of Tolstoy? Anna Karina. Okay. So Anna Karina work by Tolstoy, which is not true about this particular work. Tell me in the chat box. Which is the correct answer? Okay, so because the reaction of immediate family members to someone terminal illness. Okay, so I told you your homework is to read about Anna Karina, very important work, mark my words and please make a note of the work Anna Karina. Next, okay, so uh, next is which of the following literary types is associated with the poetry of Charles Baudelaire? Okay, which type hai, uh, literary type which has been associated with the poetry of Charles Baudelaire? Yes, what is the correct answer? Quickly in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is Flanor. So Flanor is a type of a literary, uh, literary type in which a writer depicts uh, the society in their work. Okay, so he goes around, he observes the society and whatever observance or observations he has collected by observing the society, he recollects that those things in his writings. Okay, so I have told you about Charles Pierre Baudelaire and he has written a famous lyric poetry which has which is titled as the flowers of evil. Okay, in this flowers of evil you can find this literary technique because he has uh, in this particular work he has expressed the changing nature of beauty in the industrializing modern Paris during 19th century okay so basically in the Joby Usame industrialization Chalrata he have observed the but that whole process whole scenario and he has portrayed in this particular work so that's why he has portrayed a changing nature because he was the one who observed the time before also and now also so he can easily make out the change okay and it is set in 19th century Paris okay let's move ahead which philosopher does Dante encounter in Limbo, the first circle of hell? Okay, which were the two philosophers whom Dante encounters in uh, da Divine Comedy? Please let me know in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is Socrates and 
plateau okay so please remember in divine comedy the first circle of hell that is inferno in divine comedy he encounters two philosopher that are socrates and plateau okay is this clear next this is your homework question i hope you will be answering this on the answer to this question in the comment section of this video and what does the question says it is again about anna karina so you can see that how many questions about anna karina has been asked in your previous years paper so it's very important to read about this work in detail okay so which of the following statement best applies to anna karina that among her most prominent qualities are her passionate spirit and determination to live life on her own term uh, terms she accepts exile to where she has been condemned she is a victim of russian patriarchal system and anna is deeply devoted to her family and children so out of these which forms the correct combination you have to post in the chat box i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and have um, got most of the answers right when you're watching it because again these uh, sessions are very much you know uh, helpful for you all because these kind of questions are have been asked in the previous years and there are very high chances to be asked in the coming examination as well okay so jo important works hain jo writers hain unke aapko list banani hai and you have to write the or uh, the important characters setting and their uh, you know the nationality also okay the german hai russian hai french hai so that you can easily make out in their work in which setting it has been set up okay so uh, on monday i will be coming on the next lecture for european literature i will be discussing about theater of absurd writers very important okay as i told you these writers used to follow the philosophy of nihilism that life is meaningless okay so like you were the one responsible to find the meaning of your life otherwise your actions and your words are meaningless okay and you have no motive in your life so you will be enjoying that how these writers work used to fall and how they have a abrupt starting and abrupt ending because the fragmented narratives are there without any meaning okay so please stay tuned for the monday session theory session and in the one pm session on monday we'll be discussing some very important question based on this theater of absurd writers okay so students please like the session please comment your views about the session and please subscribe to the channel for more such updates if you want more practice of such questions you can just go and download the app and just buy the mock test series of english literature which has been running on the app okay aap usko practice karo and in case you have any doubts i am always available on the comment section you can just post your doubts and i will be answering your questions okay i hope students you will enjoy the day and make the most of the coming weekend and take care bye bye